Hey, what's up guys? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So this is going to be a big off season here for the St. Louis Blues. We this this year is is we got to make our playoff push. We were close last year. We know we have the pos the capability, but we got to be able to get to that extra level this season essentially. Now we are we got some, you know, we do have to wait for some jumps for certain people, but you know, trades are not going to be out of the question including for some of our younger guys. You know, we can't wait around anymore. Thomas is 28, Cairo is now 30. We we want to make the push with these guys. And the time is now to get things going. So we mostly need defensemen in free agency. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. On the forward end of things, plus we have a lot of money to be able to spend. Forward end of things, we're pretty good. Like... There's your quote-unquote top six. We're hoping to be able to insert Varlamov in there. We need him to get a big jump. Don't know if he'll be it. He's a possible trade option. Bolduk, Dvorsky starting third line. Bluger we could even use or package him in a trade. Ott could play third line. Uh, neighbors third or fourth. Jano, maybe we use him. Farmer is the third or fourth line guy, right? We just have so many options here. It falls off after that, but... Yeah, I got to see if we actually need some AHLers too. 9 to aught. 18 total. 19. Yeah, we actually do need a few uh, a few forwards to maybe just fill out the AHL. Defenseman-wise, this is where we need the most help. I think we only have 11 guys signed. Yeah, only 11 guys signed, so we absolutely need defensemen, mostly for the NHL, as you can see by the overalls. I want to play Saprikin up. Lindstein, I'd still like to play up, so... That's technically only four guys. Maybe Kaltiainen is five. You could play... Tucker's going to be depth. Haskins, maybe he jumps, but... Yeah, it's a lot of maybes in there. So you got to get some some guys in there secure. But we know for sure who we want to play. It's like, you know, Lindstein and Saprikin got to be up. So we got four for sure guys in the NHL along with our depth piece. So five. So you need two guys likely around the top four range. We're fine on goaltenders. But that's mostly what we're after here. And I did, before I forget, someone reminded me in the comments I should check out McGratton extension. Indeed. Both him and Leanders. Not too sure about Leanders yet, but 100% we want to keep McGratton around. The cap is bouncing up, but let's... I never signed goalies long term. We're going to go RFA pretty short term. It should be... Yeah, I should be able to do... Yeah, yeah, I'll be able to do one mil flat. Cause if it's if he's asking one mil, you can do eight fifty, and he's at yeah. Let's just do one flat for two years. That'll keep him as RFA. Leanders, I'm not sure about yet. I'm likely gonna keep him, but I don't have to get him right now. Well, three or two way. I'd still, I'd, I'll still wait. I just want to see what happens with his jump and stuff like that. Uh, O'Reilly. Don't need to sign these guys right now. They got plenty of time. So, yeah, I don't want to lock him into anything. All right. So that's that. Just wanted to check on McGratton. Two-year, one-mil extension. We do expect him to be the backup. All right, and let's take that look at free agency. So there's Wierenski. And that is pretty interesting. That is very interesting. Because the right side is something that we could really need. Tucker is, uh, sorry, Dickinson is obviously more comfortable on the left. Oh, sorry, he's a left D anyway. Doesn't matter. Um, So, yeah, right D would kind of be more useful. But at the same time, not really, because Tucker could play either side. I mean, Lindstein or someone would have to play Oppo, but that's all right. Not the biggest deal. But Wierenski, man, this would shore up a lot. He wants five years. We don't want to give him five years. Probably just two to start with. 
yeah, we don't want them. Mm. Let me check. Let me check on the situations for some. I think two years is probably makes just the most sense. Three does give us an option for trade. Which might be kind of useful, but... Lindstein's kind of caught. He may end up only being a top six. Or he is morale down, like... But depending on whatever contract we... You know, he's on that sort of deal. So he's making top four-ish money. Yeah, HL. I don't like his awareness. We know Tucker's depth. Saprikin, we're hoping, turns into at least a top four guy. Maybe we can get his potential to change. We're going to give him plenty of power play. Yeah, we're kind of kind of a slight log jam left side. So I should probably only do two years. Yeah, fortunately, like I said, Dickinson can play right side in a pinch. He may end up having to do most of that. I think we should pursue Wierenski 100%. We got the money. And I don't want to go long term because I'm going to overpay for him. Like for damn sure. So let's see how much that price changes if we go down to two. Oh, that's really nice. I'm going to give him like eight years. Eight mil for two years. That should get him 1.3 over his ask. Although years, San Jose and Washington. Maybe I should go 8.5. We shouldn't run into too many issues. We're going to go 8-5 for two years. He's got those X factors too. Like, he, yeah, he could show up power play, etc. We will need at least one more defenseman. But overalls, the pickings are a little bit slim. McCabe's a decent option. Again, can play either right or left side, which gives us some flexibility. Really solid defensively. Slightly worried about the age and the potential fall off, of course. But Shea's pretty much the same. Don't need another OFD. And again, right Ds are a bit harder to come by. The good thing about McCabe is even if he declines, we could still use him in the top six. Yeah, the money might be tricky, but I think we go for it. Again, I have to overpay for him. But I'm going to go for it. I'm going to give him like six mil. I'm not going to go too much over. We do have other options for him, essentially. Two by six, get a nice veteran defenseman. Yeah, and again, if he drops off, we could easily play him top six. Yep, let's lock him in. And again, these guys will be on tradable contracts too, so if we have to get rid of them to make space, we will. But we're going to throw money around. So we're going to go for Warensky and McCabe for the defense. That could help a lot. Forward end of things, we did need a couple. There's nothing in the way of good pieces. Yeah, there's Tarasenko, but I'm not really going to go for that considering top nine. <laughs> so really, it's... Man, I don't know, actually, if we should go depth or, or what. Pretty much, like... Most of what we need... I, I know I'm... I'm oh, hello, low elite. Do I just snag him to snag him? Two-way forward, 52, right winger. I think I do. Yeah. Just just because. I know it'll be a... It'll be a three-year thing, but I just want to see what he does. So, fuck it. There's a low elite there. I'll take him. All right. Other things. No. No. Nope. Man, if that guy was a two-way, he'd be worth taking. Damn, why are they always freaking playmakers? <laughs> Ugh. Not the greatest. Yeah, really not the greatest here. Here you go. Lau. Oh, shit. Is he... <sighs> Has to take an entry level. I don't want that. That's too many years for a guy like that. I want to have the flexibility to be able to shed him. Yeah, it's really not the greatest. I 
I don't think I really missed out on much. Kind of sucks. There's not that, like, magic age plus overall, like, okay, this guy's 25, but he's not. He needs to be higher overall if he's 25. There's just not. We don't have it. So, yeah. Coburn's really the only one I'm going to get. Maybe there's some guys I want to sign internally. For the AHL. Let's check that out. In the system. Derp. Uh, nah. Kind of and not really. Like maybe Quincy, but he's a little too low because he's a scoring type. And he's been growing good off contract. Outlaw, Valusi, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, probably, honestly, yeah. Let's go for it. Sign Outlaw. We'll sign Valesi. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, one of them's an exemption. Valesi's an exemption, so Outlaw is not. So we at least get one extra. Is there anything defensively? Nope. Absolutely not. It's going to be a little bit tricky. Getting two extra defensemen, though. So what the hell is... Ugh. There's a lot to do, man. I'm just going to look at my defensive situation. I think I need one more defenseman. If I'm getting those two. I think I need one more. And nine. I think at 11, I'll have 13. So yeah, one more defenseman would be good. Yeah. I'm going to use Zamula still, but let's f let's see if uh, for a defenseman there is anyone good with potential. We'll take maybe a slight step back in the way of uh, like not winning a Calder Cup, but that, that's really okay. Of course, OFD, which I don't really want. Yeah, like, yeah, you could carry the future AHL squad, actually. He could be a future AHL carry. This guy is interesting. Low four, but he's only 60. He's 19, though. But I do really like this guy, too, to maybe carry the AHL squad. Yeah, it is always good to have o OFD carries. So I might just pick him up. Like, yeah, this guy's okay, but that's so long to wait on someone who might be useful, and we have plenty of guys who might be useful very soon. Yeah, let's go for Coughlin here. Oh, he's RFA. Ah, okay. All right. Um, fine. I'll just get this guy. Let's see what happens to him. Wait. Yeah, free agency. Not normal. <laughs> okay. Get that guy locked in. Now it's about, do I need fourth liners? Well, if I do, they'll be available. Let me just advance. Let's see what the cap situation is going to be like. Yeah, and I, scouting-wise, we're pretty much just going to stick with this team. I'll show you why. Um, we already have plenty of A's. Um, B minus here. The only thing better in there is a B, and I don't want to, you know, the, the accuracy is already good. Extra League of Ice can sit at C's. That doesn't matter. So, yeah, this is pretty much going to be our scouting team because there's, there's no A's again. And upgrade-wise, it's marginal at best. All right, let's advance some days. You know, no. I'm going to hold on to him for now. Get Dickinson off my block, please. Let's clear all this. See what the heck we can do. Ah! Damn it. I really wanted that guy. It's to replace my AHL guy. That's unfortunate, because it's hard to find a general. This would... Okay, well, here's A at least, so there we go. We'll be able to get Henry McLeod. 
Hopefully. We're still going to stick with our NHL coaching squad. We're trying to see, you know, how everything lines up when we get as many of the young guys in there as possible. Takashi signed. Oh, wait. It said he's going to be in the CHL. Maybe it should. No, no. It should reset, right? Anyway, we got McCabe, McGratton extended, Kaltiainen extended. All right, we got the coach. We got Warensky. All right. Uh, Darling extended, Tucker extended, Shirakov extended. I think that was pretty much everyone I offered extensions to, right? Yeah, we have an extended Bull Duke. It's a little tricky. Yeah. I know I want him, though. It's pretty much going to be my 3C. Eight years takes him... Like, that could be... A, I mean, for what he does? Let me see. What's his price tag? That's well under five. This would pretty much lock him in as our 3C. I could do a bit shorter and get a better price. I mean, this is under four if I do four years, so probably want to do that. Yeah, let's 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 do it a bit shorter term for Bull Duke. But we definitely want a locker room in. We won't have RFA anyway, even if I did a one year. It was UFA. At least I'm pretty sure. <laughs> was it? I can't check now. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it was UFA. So we'll lock in Bull Duke. Yeah, and I think that's it. Still waiting on Leanders. All right, did I get everyone signed that I wanted? I think so, yeah. All right, what the heck are we looking at now? 40 out of 50. It says three exemptions. I don't know if they'll stay exemptions. We can always sign those kind of guys, but looking at for the... AHL or NHL wise. Do I want to spend any more money? I kind of have to. But we're good on defensemen, right? Maybe. I don't know. This guy, if he only turns 20, he should still be eligible. So I think I need another defenseman. Yeah, I think he's actually gonna still be C uh, CHL eligible because it, it's not showing 20 if it shows 20 you know for sure so I think I'm just gonna need to get another defenseman here we already have a good depth piece let's get someone like in between you can just <laughs> Yossi yeah let's get veteran Yossi for a year um let me Get that AHL carry, I guess. Yeah. Oh, no. He was freaking tendered. What am I talking about? Let's just snag someone. I'm just going to grab Yossi and pay a lot for him. No, that doesn't make sense. Oh, I got Jack Eyes available. Sure. Let's pay you to punch faces. Even if it's in the AHL, we'll... Pay him enough. There you go. Let's get Jack Eye. We need at least one forward. And probably more simply because. But yeah, who's our depth forward? I don't think we have one. No, no, we, we don't actually need a depth forward. Yeah. I was just thinking of that. I was like, wait a sec. We just legit don't have a depth forward. Let's snag one of those. Tuomala. Pretty solid. Oh my god, really solid. Yeah, there's my depth forward. Uh, oh, we can keep him RFA if we only do one year? Hell yeah. Let's do 1.1. Actually, we can go like just 2 mil this year. Help us out with the floor. 
Yeah, I don't want I don't want to miss out on that guy. That guy's sick. Like, you can go anywhere. Look at his offense. Look at his defense. He can legit play anywhere besides center. But <laughs> whatever. That's pretty much a dream right there. And he's not tendered. And we will still have control over him. That's a fucking steal of a deal. Five mil, two mil, push one down. That would be 42 if we lock that in. But with an extra goalie, I think we still need some kind of a forward. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check and see what our AHL scoring situation is looking like. What kind of young guys we have there. If we even have that anymore. Don't know that we do. Blah, blah, blah. None of these guys. Twomanen. Uh, yeah. Probably. Okay. Not really anything. Yeah, I could use maybe like a power forward type guy. Let's check that for free agency. And then that'll pretty much be it. That'll be all we need, I think. I don't know. We could, we could always get another guy back. But for right now, for my money, this is should be fine for us. <laughs> we can get Torbchenko back. Let's see if someone's better. At least more fitting for our needs. No. Could good on honestly be a sniper too. But I'm hoping for like decent offensive stats on one of these guys, but I doubt we're gonna get that from power forwards at this range. Doesn't look like it. Nope. So maybe just get Torpchenko back? I'm thinking about it. Oh my god, they all suck. Like, they got fine, uh... Like, all-around stats, but I, I was hoping to find, like, a an, an outlier. But I just don't think we're gonna find that, unfortunately. Pretty much not. Nope. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go back and get, like, Torpchenko back or something. Just because we... Just because why not? It's funny. Wait. Oh, no, there he is. Yeah, he's probably the better one of all of them. And, hey, buddy, we're going to pay you a lot to play in the AHL. There you go. We're getting Alexi back. Okay. That should be everything. If we need more, we can always get more. Getting a bit confused. We had a lot to do. We got Jackai. We got Torpchenko. Bolduc extended. And we got Tuomala. Alright. That's it. We got the coach, right? Yep. We're all set. Okay. We have still too many exemptions. We'll figure that out. If they all jump up, we'll also figure that out. But this is going to be a big moment. This next screen is going to tell us a hell of a lot, and we may be making some trades if we don't like what we see. So I'm going to sim up, and I'll take a look. Okay, I think I have the line set up, and I did see the jumps that I wanted to see out of some people. Varlamov, not as high, but we're going to start him out here. And we'll see if he can hang, not only production-wise, but also grow. So we're going to start with it there. So, Shirikov, Thomas, Kairu, Varlamov, Misa, Darling, second line, only plus one. Uh, Ott, Bolduk, Dvorsky on that third line. I do rather like that. That's pretty solid, especially with Ott in there. Again, he could also be shifted with Varlamov. Gives us slightly better chemistry on the second line, but that's an option we have. Fourth line of Neighbors, Farmer, and Bluger. Farmer is listed as fourth line, and we are roll four lines. So... Should be pretty okay there. Hopefully, at least growth wise. He's eighty over. I mean, he's eighty two overall at age twenty. Like he's he's doing fine for a top six, especially defensively. Dickinson Tucker. We're gonna play him together. Tucker now has in reverse and quick pick. Warensky with Lindstein. They get a plus two together. Warensky loves the middle pairing. He can play anywhere really. Then we're gonna go Suprik and McCabe. Now the reason I have McCabe here 
is because it's a minus one if it's Lindstein and Saprika together. And I don't want Saprikin especially to have a minus. He doesn't like being in the top six, which makes sense because the coach wants him to hold the line and not pinch. Uh, <laughs> so he's going to be playing with McCabe, whose uh, veteran tutelage will hopefully help him. Power play. This gets interesting. I'm going Ott, Shirakov, Thomas, and Kairou with Saprikin on power play one. Now, it is only a plus one. If I had Wierenski here, it's a plus five, but I'll tell you the reason I'm not doing that. Because uh, it would be a minus one if it was Saprikin in there. <laughs> and here, we actually get a plus one if we have Wierenski here. What are otherwise, it would be an even or a minus. Uh, anyway, Darling, Varlamov, Misa, Bolduk, Wierenski. So no farmer, but I did want to give Bolduk some power play time, man. Uh, no one cares about the four-man. Penalty kill lines. Thomas Dvorsky with Wierenski and Dickinson. Second unit, Bolduk Bluger with Saprikin and Tucker. He does have the uh, quick the stick him up. So pfft, we'll see. This is what EA suggested. I'll try it. And then the uh, third one, Farmer Neighbors, McCabe and Lindstein. I'm pretty sure the defensive pairings are the same. Thomas, Dvorsky, Bolduk. Pretty friggin' good. Four and four lines. It's gonna look pretty similar to years past. Thomas Shirkov, Wierenski, Tucker. Getting Wierenski the extra ice time where we can. And then Darling Kairou. Darling has better face-offs. Then Dickinson McCabe. And then Misa Varlamov, Lindstein, Saprikin. Again, don't want to overplay Saprikin, but you're seeing on the three-on-three, on three, he'll be up higher. Thomas, Shir uh, Shir yeah, all the same forward pairings. Wierenski, then Saprikin. And then Dickinson. Extra attacker, Shirkov, Darling. Shootout lineup, I moved. I switched Misa and Shirkov, trying to get... We want to get Shirkov into one of those top three slots. So there you go. Goalies, Dostal and McGratton. He's listed as minor starter, but I have a feeling that will change. Either way, he's 22. It's time for him to get some backup time. Scratches. I totally forgot Stenbody could be a depth piece. So we're going to use him as a depth piece. He's just more flexible than the other guy. Uh, who will be a solid depth piece for the NA. Maybe we could turn Stenbody into a third liner. Maybe even a second liner. Who the hell knows? But yeah, we're giving him a ch chance here. Tucker for our defensive depth and Jarenko scratched goalie. Okay. This is it. I'll give you a quick look at the AHL as well. You can see who's going where, but it's not as heavy with our top, top prospects anymore. As you can see. Now, Kaltiainen is tactically ready for NHL. So I have him, re I have him ready to go. If we don't necessarily like what Saprikin's doing. If we think he needs more time in the AHL, we can make that switch easily. So just bear that in mind that that might be a thing we do. I have no immediate trade to make because it's not Varlamov didn't, you know, uh, stagnate. He at least grew more. And I'm, it's time to get him in the NHL. We'll see how he does. And it's the big, big question. And hopefully our friggin' chemistry stops being in the toilet. Okay. Moment of truth. Let's get this season underway. Nope. At least they're saying Bluger's worth three weeks, even though I could get a two for him. <laughs> Surplus of forwards, huh? Press X to doubt, since we don't have a forward depth piece in the AHL. <laughs> oh, game. Alright, interesting preseason. Not liking the defense and goaltending. Let's see what happens, yikes. Oh boy, what a horrible start to the season. Lindstein gets injured. Atrocious start. Oh, Varlamov's down to an 80. Don't like that. Dickinson is a natural 86. Good. Lindstein is a who the fuck knows because he's injured again. Natural 82. At least the morale's reset and hopefully we'll stay up. Little worry about... Okay, yeah, Bluger did drop down a bit. No points in three games. Let Auto Scout get to work. Oh boy.
Fucking bullshit. All right, well, we're gonna put in Stenbiddy because, uh, yeah, he is a, uh, he'll be an OFD. Everywhere he goes, I don't care about the minus three down there. Uh, should I? I should check my injury sliders, make sure they didn't get reset, man. I might do this after the stop. 79, yeah. Listed as the depth. One point only in those five games with that power play time. Brother! The fuck, man? Yeah, I really need to check my sliders, see if they got reset by EA because this is ridiculous. Holy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, I must call up players because fucking the whole team is injured. Do I really have to call up players? Are you sure? Oh, are we like under cap? Jack guy, come on down. You're scratched anyway. Holy shit, man. Every single one of our, like, young guys got hurt. Every. Single. One. Jack guy, go punch some fucking faces. Let them know we can't do this. Alright, I'm waiting for the sim to stop to be able to check everything. Holy crap. That was a ridiculous start to the season, injury-wise. Who the hell's back? Okay, Tucker, Bullduke. Woof! What a start to the season, huh? And we're waiting on Lindstein. I might have too many guys up when it... I think I will, actually. Is this your Renko? Please get to the end with nothing more. <laughs> At least it's AHL, I know where to just do that. Cool, good year for rookies. It's a bad year for fa okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's him coming back. That's why. <laughs> so alright, Jack guy, uh, you get to get sent back down. I hope. Okay. Oh, he has to clear away. Yeah, he's five mil. No one's taking him. <laughs> That's part of the reason I did that. Uh Lindstein. God, I'm, I'm going to be surprised by what our record is because it did the sim bullshit. Alright, Quentin Burns can be inserted back. Where he was, which was right here. Yeah, I know that's a plus. Give it to me. Oh, never mind. Whatever. Alright, are we done? Thanks. Well, we're 14, 3, and 4. <laughs> so, despite all those a myriad of injuries, we fucking crushed it. Oh, man, that's the greatest surprise ever. What a horrible start. We had that loss, that loss. Then we had a team meeting and said we got to bounce back. Tough one against Carolina. And then we just tore it up. We have not lost in regulation since. Holy shit. <laughs> That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Okay, let's check out some stats. Kairu's leading the way with 27 points. We are in second. 376 goals for 271 goals against. That's what I like to see. Solid power play. It's not incredible, but you know, I'll take, you know, a, a strong five on five as opposed to a strong power play. Penalty kills killing it. Two shorties as well. Crushing home home ice. Bush did it, by the way. Um, yeah. 7 0 3 in the last 10. Say that's pretty damn good. Oh, Misa. Kyra with 27 points. Misa with 23. Thomas 21. Shirakov with 19. Only 9 goals. Darling with 16, but 12 goals. Dvorsky is 14. Volomov's 14, man. You know, not too many goals, but. 
uh, 0.67 points per game, man. Like, that's not too bad. <laughs> I can do that math when it's breaking into easy fractions. Uh, Ott, 12 points. Bullduke, 12. Farmer does only have four. It is four goals. It's a rough fourth line performance, though. Stenbody hopping in, four points in eight games. Defensively, Warinsky, 12 points. Dickinson, nine. Tucker, eight. Saprikin has seven and 24 goals. Nothing on the power play? That's an issue. I might send him down. Still is his depth. I might. If he has nothing on the power play, I think I send him down. That's 20 games on the power play. He hasn't gotten a single point. And our power play is lower. Production wise. Ah, maybe I give him a bit longer. I'll fuck up his quote unquote rookie season, which is why I'm thinking about sending him down. But I doubt with where he played, he'd be best at his rookie year. Would be like a top four position with like number one power play. I doubt he would win the Calder anyway. So uh, maybe I, I'll give him another month. But not looking great. I mean, it's decent production. But it, it, imagine if he had three or four power play points to go with that. He'd be in great. He'd be in a great spot. But he. Zero production on the power play. I'm not a fan of that. That's not great. Bro, Lindstein's only played five fucking games. <laughs> Goalies. Oof. Ooh, McGratton. Ooh, McGratton. <laughs> Welcome to the NHL, kid. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank goodness for Doshtal. Ugh. Who is crushing it, by the way. 14-1-2 with two shutouts and 19 games played. Oh, McGratton. <laughs> oh, by the way, he picked up X-Ray. All right, all right. Again, not, all right. So, I'm not going to make any panic moves yet. I'm going to give it another month. We'll see if Saprikin can get some power play production. He damn well better. <laughs> we'll check out some growth after this, too. This will be important to see some potential growth. Oh, oh. Well, let's uh, check out the draft class as well. We don't really care about the uh, top bit of the draft. Yeah, I'm not thinking of making a single trade right now. Because the team's performing. Uh, like, Varlamov doesn't seem out of place. He's producing on that second line, right? So, there's no real need to make any major or any changes whatsoever because we are performing we need Lindstein to stop being made of glass but that's pretty much all, all of this team <laughs> speaking of which I didn't check my fucking sliders alright I promised to do that right after this I'm pretty sure they're not because we would be seeing way more injuries at this point but I, I'll double check anyway because yeah that was just an insane amount of injuries within like a week. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to get one comment and just be like, turn the injuries down. Brother, they're the same as they are in every single year, every single franchise mode. It's just some years you have more injuries. I enjoy having to have depth. I find it silly if you end the season with everyone having played 82 games. So I'm never going to not have injuries on. And yeah. Again, and not every year is like this. Maybe, I mean, in this franchise mode, we have had some pretty rough injuries years. But you go back and watch any of my other franchise modes. Some years you have a lot of injuries. Other years you have next to none. You know, it's just, just how it goes. It's a good mix. It's a good balance. Because you're not, I'm never going to have a realistic thing. Because, dude, people are getting injured left and right in the NHL. You know, bumps and bruises, sit out, miss a game. Day-to-day, -day, stuff like that. It happens constantly. I should know. My fantasy team. I got screwed in the playoffs. Thanks to Larkin. Not thanks to him. But kinda, because he was injured. <laughs> uh, missed that production. I missed the beginning of the season when him and Debrinkit were just crushing it. That's way too many mediums. Why am I going that heavy? I'm just busy yapping. Yeah, I missed the beginning of the season when Debrinkit and Larkin were absolutely carrying me. Also, Hill and Thompson, too. They, well, Vegas fell off in general, but man, Hill and Thompson. Tons and tons of wins and good save percentage early on. And then back half of the season, man. Playoffs, too. Man. Oh, well. 
You know, I was a, I was a semi-finalist. I still have yet to one win in the fantasy league put on by my buddy. And this time we had money and everyone threw in 10 bucks. But depending on like how it ends, I could still technically get third place and I'd be at least get my money back for the season. <laughs> but yeah, I was really hoping to get one of the one or two spots. Just because for one, I've never made it there. <laughs> I'm basically the Sharks. Can't get, can't get by the... Can't, can't go all the way. I'm just clicking here. I'm not even probably doing the scouts. I'm not switching them, nothing. Doesn't matter. We are less, uh, less emphasis on drafting from here on out, pretty much. And eventually, I'll probably just let, be letting Auto Scout do all of it. Just because I won't be able to be bothered. And we don't really need it. But for now, we'll stick with it. 13 is a good range for a potential medium elite steal in the first. As we've seen. Okay. Let's keep her going. Tough loss. But we answer right back with some dubs, baby. Couple losses in a row. Answer back with a shutout. Doshtal, you beast. Okay, we fell off a bit this month, but it's not like we, we went on a horrible skid. No. <laughs> like, yeah, we had four regulation losses this month and a couple, or just one overtime loss, but it's, we still had a positive record. 23-7-5. and five. One point behind the Blackhawks, who do have a game in hand. Uh, we are third best team in the NHL right now. Well, that's good. I'm going to check stats once again. See if anything improved, because, yeah, we're going to want to keep a closer eye on things now. Goal scoring still high, yeah, maybe regression to the mean a bit. Goals against got better, though. Defense got better. Power play did go up slightly. Penalty kill even went up more. That is surprising. Wasn't it 85? Went up to 87? Oh, well, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's great with a stage shape. Okay. Let's see. Kyrie with 41 points. Thomas has 39. Misa has 37. Shirkov now has 33. 17 goals. <sighs> Could hit 40. Hard to say if he's completely on pace for that. Oh, by the way, yeah, I forgot to talk about him. His make it snappy is now gold. <laughs> he has truculence, of course. <laughs> anyway, Varlamov, 27 points in 35 games played. He doesn't really look out of place to me. He's producing. Darling, 25, 18 goals, however. He could be doing a bit better. But that's a hell of a high shooting percentage. That is not sustainable. Uh, Bolduc, 22 points. Dvorsky, 17. Ott, 16. Imagine if... Yeah. Imagine if... God, that power play. Doing really good. Sabrikin, I want to see it. 10 points. 1 point with a power play goal. Minus with McCabe. I don't know, man. I'm not feeling it. I think he needs more AHL time. I'm just, I'm not feeling it. This is, he's got the top power play, dude. And he's being outscored by Wierenski, who's on the second one. I don't know. I just don't know if I'm feeling it. Yeah, the team's doing good, but... He and McCabe aren't performing well together. I'll check growth. Let's see if he's actually natural. If he's naturally grown, I'll consider keeping him. Oh, McGratton. <laughs> Buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. But it builds character. Can't shelter you, man. We can always sit him in the playoffs and have Jarenko as the backup. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. What was I doing? Growth. All right. Let's hope to see some growth from some people. Okay, a little bit more awareness. Okay, a little bit of growth. Oh my god, he got more X-Factors. He now has Elite Edges, Magician, and uh, Tape to Tape. Holy shit, Misa. Darling, still only has Beauty Backhand. Please have some growth, not just stat. Oh. Okay. Ott, all stat, yep. Pretty sure Bolduke's is all stat, okay. Thomas is going to be all stat, Neighbors is going to be all stat. Varlamov, that's real growth, that has to be. Yep, his puck skills, nothing there. His shot, though. And durability. Good, we need that on this team. Alright, well, he's growing. So, I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking move him. 
With the way he's produ producing, too? Hell no. Still some stat minuses for Lindstein. Dickinson has gotten rid of most of his stat minuses and his morale minuses are gone. Gratton. Morale growth. Really? <laughs> really? Okay, he's finding positives in it. Good for you, buddy. Nothing from Shirakov, who... Wow, actually, the fact that he has no statistical... He's a natural 90. I'm not even mad. Not even mad. He could not grow at all anymore. He's, he's fucking where he needs to be. 90 overall at age 20. As a medium elite, he doesn't need to grow. He's fine. I'd like him to, but he's fine. Alright, everyone else just chilling. In the system. Which, yeah, that means Saprikin has gotten nothing. Right? Yep. I think I'm going to send him down. Quincy! Hello! Remember when we were thinking about signing him but elected not to because he was like a 68? Well, he's now a 78. Or maybe that was someone else. Oh, no, it definitely wasn't high enough, but yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 oh baby, let's go, Bennett Quincy, Springus, yes, for those of you, this, that is an old YouTube Pingus reference, I, just, I dated myself so hard, oh. Stanton, solid growth out of him, Mr. High Starter, who we drafted, growing, Agostini, a little bit, Coburn, a little bit. No real runners. Swab well, Quincy is the runner. Are we missing anyone? McCann, a little bit. Yeah, he's got us slightly. Geisberger, Mayer. Yeah. Uh, Street. Who the fuck is this guy? Oh, I drafted him. I think. <laughs> I'm running out. Okay, Skilly not growing. Kaltiaina not growing. But he's ready for NHL time. I think we're going to make that move right now. And that'll give us more flexibility. We could maybe even have McCabe up. But Lindstein's doing fine, so I think we keep McCabe there. Just get him a better partner. Someone he... Kaltiainen should be slightly better. Yeah. Anyway, solid growth. I'm not going to look at every one. We're missing some from some people, but... Who the heck cares? All right, we're going to send down the OFD. He's not ready. He's simply not ready. If Varlamov's growing... In the depth, as with, with naturally, with the depth stuff, and Saprikin is not, as well as not producing, he can't be here. Simple. He just can't be here. So we're sending him down. Doesn't have to clear waivers, so we're fine. We're going to switch him with uh, Kaltiainen, I think, who is ready. Yep, top six. He's fine. There we go. Done. So we'll have to adjust the power play, and I'll do that right now. Let's throw Kaltiainen in here. Let's see how he'd do in that. There's not it's not a minus. Sorry. Let me get Saprikin in there. <laughs> That's hold line top line? That's hilarious. Uh, anyway. Yeah, it's fine. Perfect. Let's check that power play because we don't want Kaltiain in here. Hmm, who do I want to throw in? Wierenski's kind of really, I think, really doing a good job carrying that second unit. Who the hell do I put on the point here? Maybe Tucker. Tucker's technically the better one. Yeah, probably put Tucker. Let's see. Well, it's first of all, let's see how the chemistry looks with him. Should theoretically be a, a left hand guy, but oh, it's an it's an even really. Well, they're only plus one before. Let's see what it looks like with Dickinson in there instead. Same thing. So either Dick Dickinson or Tucker doesn't really matter. Guess we can... Mm. Let's go with Tucker, because he's got the better stats. Let's do that. Alright. So, yeah, like it was a plus one, now it's a nothing, but I'm okay with it. Again, we could put Wierenski here for a plus five, but that kind of makes me nervous, because our power play has been pretty damn good. 
and getting better. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it. I, I like Warensky kind of helping out this line because they're all fucking young boys. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let us continue. I put, yeah, I got all, I got all this stuff right. Kaltian might be in, Kaltian might be in on some like three on three stuff, but I'm not super concerned. Let's go to the deadline. All the way. Uh, Tormenin, I think it was like their second or third line. I'll recognize it because it's going to put a defenseman in there. <laughs> Here we are. Come on, more wins. Yeah, boys, let's go. Tough Lund, you get a point out of it. All right, I'll do some scouting real quick. All right, continuing on here. Oh, baby. Ah, oh, tough boss. Oh, all right. Nope. Don't need anyone. Oh, such a good record. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Are we doing too good? Is EA going to force us? Yep, EA is going to say, EA is saying, wait, wait a second. This is, this is too good here. Got to hand you a few more losses. Jack eye on the top line. Let's go. Fight everyone. Speaking of which, I just want to know how many fucking fights. Oh, I can't check here, can I? Because it's stupid. Only 12 pims? All right, one of those. Yeah, better be two fights and one minor, dude. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Ooh, Haskins. I don't think Martin was actually out, but I'm checking. Nope, he wasn't. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, whatever. We're almost to the deadline, so it'll go to my AHL for a sec. Ah, there you go. <laughs> now he's out. All right, Jack Eye, back in you go. Punch faces. Punch. What? I guess he's. Oh, yeah, yeah. What? Where is he? Oh, right, okay, he's there. He's there punching faces. All right, as long as he's punching faces. I screwed up the sim thing, so it'll be weird for a sec. I don't know what happened to Detroit. We lost that game, then lost in overtime. All right. Wow, two overtime games against Ottawa. 37, 17, and 8. A lot of OT losses. Kairu's still leading the way. Our locker room chemistry is good. We are still second in the division. Could potentially drop to third. But we should be, a, yeah, we're going to be a playoff team. Oh, what the fuck? The East just got hella good. Remember when we were ahead of all the teams there? The East just shot up there. And then the Pacific got shit. That's weird. <laughs> wasn't, I was looking at that, right? Wasn't I? Yeah. All right, let's check out the stats here at the deadline. 3-6-3. Three, three. Looks like it's a 3.5 goals per game team. Yeah, goals against one up. But it's still in a pretty good spot. Power play is doing good. Penalty kills crushing it. Five shorties too. Oh, that's okay. I'm Nashville. <laughs> uh, let's actually see how we stack up then. Here at the deadline. I usually do this at the end of the season, but let's do it here. I actually I don't remember when I usually do this. We are top five scoring. We are top three defensively. Top five power play. Top three, penalty kill. Second place, second best penalty kill. Nowhere close in the way of shorties, but that's a pretty good team. That's a pretty good team. Kyra was 74 points. Thomas was 65. Misa was 63. Shirakov. Oh, yeah, he's he's got to hit 40. Eh, it's going to be close. 10 goals in 20 games. He's, his pace is slightly below that. He might not. 58 points, though, in 62 games. I'll take it. Varlamov, 45 and 62, 25 goals. Darling, his point total is low, but when you look at his goals, you don't, you don't really mind, right? You, you don't. But that, that, yeah, that's basically, that benefits Misa, too, because he can just dish it to, you know, Varlamov and Darling. Yeah. Kind of expected Darling and Varlamov's production to be flipped, but I'll take it. Whatever. It's still pretty good. They're going to be 50-plus point guys easy. 
not quite 60, which is what I would like on the second line eventually. Bolduc's crushing it, though. Ott, uh, pretty good. 20 goal score. Dvorsky, 28 points. That fourth line, though. A little rough. Oransky with 41 points. Tucker, 28. McCabe. Kaltiainen. Interesting. Kaltiainen's at least slightly better. Dostal, still solid. McGratton, though. Not great. <laughs> I'll just say that. Not great. Doesn't have the points I want. It is his rookie year. We're giving him, you know, a pass for that. But yeah, it's going to have to do better. But we know Dostal is crushing it. So. Barlamov will have a chance for the Calder, man. He will. And I didn't click on anyone. I didn't see any of their growth. We will check that in a sec. And by a sec, I mean right now. Well, it really was a second. It sure comes up to 92. It's got to be morale. Misa, is that more natural growth? Uh, not really. Fighting skill? The hell? Huh. Oh, he's got another X Factor. Jesus. Bone breaker now? Ankle breaker? Bone breaker. <laughs> That's what the picture is. The bullet's a breaking bone. Ah, darling. Need you to grow, man. Same with Ott. That's unfortunate. Considering we got this guy 11th overall. The X-Factors were nice. They'll still be good, but, you know, you wanted a bit more out of them. That 11th overall. Okay, the Varlamov has increased his overall with his growth. So he's right where he needs to be, apparently. Yeah. If his production was lower, you know, he might be playing elsewhere. But nope. He's doing what he needs to do. And everything else is pretty much, yeah, stat. I think Dickinson is natural. Oh, it's stat minuses still. He should get rid of those. McGratton does have a, what? Oh, goalies, they have extra, you got to scroll. Stick high, stick low. Okay, yeah, your stick side sucks. Get that better. Work with Goldberg. Okay, Quincy, holy shit. <laughs> Good God. Good God. <laughs> we have a third round steal, gentlemen. Woo! Jesus. Decent. Fitzgerald. Okay. Stanton. Yeah, pretty good growth out of him. He's a little awkwardly built, but it's good growth at least. Christensen's grown, I think, a bit more. Pretty solid. Who's missing? McCann's got growth now. Martin has growth. Tolman in slightly. Tankrat. That's unfortunate. Guy we just drafted, I'm pretty sure. Wow. N really, no one's missing growth. Okay, besides Supri. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. I know he was just drafted. Well, no, he wasn't. And we played him in the NHL last year. What's your excuse now, buddy? He's only growing by jumps. Yeah, 10 points. We know that. AHL-wise, he's got 18 and 25. So, yeah, he's doing... Mu oh, he's crushing it there. Doing much, much better. All right, good. Hopefully, he actually grows. <laughs> We shall see. I want him to be NHL ready next year. We tried him. Didn't work. Okay. We are here at the line. Let's see what the draft class has in store. It's been okay. Nothing like crazy popping out. We'll see. Yeah, still nothing. Hasn't been the greatest. We do have two low elites in that prime second round spot. And nothing else really there. Top fours? Uh, not really. It's got to be a high six. Uh, it's tempting me, but it's gonna it's gonna lie about those X factors, isn't it? All right, so nothing really too out of the ordinary when it comes to scouting. But do we make a move at the deadline? It's kind of tough because we have important. You got people playing in important roles who are pretty good. 
Now, the fourth line is the thing where you could maybe make the adjustment. Like, even then. Not really. I don't know if I make a move. We kind of got everyone doing what they need to do. I... I don't know. The thing is, if you acquire someone, you have you probably have to ship someone out. What if we got like a nice grinder here instead? The thing I don't like is that the it's severe minus on that fourth line. And I, my only thought was like, what if I had neighbors, farmer, you know, two way forward, power forward, and then a grinder. Because right now we got two two-way forwards. What if I just acquired a nice little grinder for that? That's that's really would be my only thought. Maybe you guys are seeing something I'm not. So let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button. I'll see you in the next one.